Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today's video, I wanted to do another plant related video for you. As always, please don't forget to subscribe underneath. It's free and it helps me a lot. And like this video if you want more plant content on my channel. Uh, plants, house plants are something that I've really been loving. Um, I find they're really peaceful and bring me a lot of joy in my life. Um, today's video is on propagating house plants by water. Um, propagation is perfect because you can make more plants out of the plants you already have. You can also um, propagate a plant to gift to a friend or just root it back into the same pot to make your plant fuller. So I'm just going to start by showing you uh, the plants that I have propagating in water right now. Um, go through some tips and stuff that I've learned from doing this because this is probably like the 10th time that I've done this. Um, and also show you the plant, different types of plants you can propagate in water and what the root system looks like, where you should cut the plant, and also show you how I propagate it back into the same pot to make a thicker plant. So let's just get into the video. As always, let me know underneath what you guys are propagating and what's your favorite propagation method. So I'll start by each type of plant. So as you can see, I have all my plants in one vessel. Sorry, there's dog hair. Pomeranian hair in it. Um, this is what the root systems look like in the vessel. It's in a north facing window that gets very bright bright light. It's not too hot and sunny though. It's kind of like bright indirect light and I find this is the best place that I've found to propagate. I've also found that putting all the propagations together in one container is a great idea because this one here is a neon pothos and this one is a jade pothos. Anytime that you're propagating, you should propagate a, a pothos as well because they release a hormone in the water that makes everything else propagate faster. And I also find that you can put, like you could propagate a bunch of stuff one day and then a week later add a new propagation in and because there's like rooting hormone in here just naturally from the plants, um, the new propagation that you put in will root faster. So I'll just go through plant by plant. This is a Hoya Carnosa green cutting. I just put this in a few days ago. So as you can see, the roots are just starting. And I find Hoyas take a long time to root. So that's why I wanted them in the water with the, with the pothos. And I have two cuttings of that. So I'll be putting that back in the same water and letting it have more time. Next is a neon pothos cutting. As you can see, the roots are quite large here. So when you're cutting, you could do single leaf, leaf cuttings, but sometimes I'll do multiple like this and then I'll just cut it into multiple pieces. So as you can see, that has a really big root there and the other ones are just starting. So I'm gonna let this have more time in the water as well. Neon pothos is so pretty. And I'm, I'm making this for a gift for my dad. Another cutting of Neon Pothos as well. And this is the root. This one looks like it's ready to pot up, but I think I'll give it a few days until this one is ready. And I don't put anything in the water. All I put is just normal tap water and I just replace it when it looks like it's getting murky. So like once every two weeks or something, or I also top dress it with more water because it starts to evaporate because my um, climate that I live in is so dry. Next is a watermelon pe peperomia. And so with watermelon peperomia, I usually um, propagate the ugly leaves. So the ones that have damage on them, like it was like this when I bought it. Um, so I propagate, I just cut it off as low to the base as I can. And then I wait for the roots to form. So there's nothing here yet. So this is a jade pothos here. So this one has got this leaf here and it's got another new growth coming here. So that's really exciting. So I think I'm gonna cut it off with a new growth here and put that back in water and plant this one because the root is so long. This is too long, I think. It's kind of hard to bury it in the soil as long as the roots are, um, let me see here if I can show you what's the ideal length. So this is the ideal length is that root right there. This other one is too long. It'll just be more stressed putting it into soil, but I'm still gonna try anyways. And this one is another um, jade pothos. So these definitely have to be potted up. 
This is a Monstera Adansoniae narrow form. So this one's actually rooting in, wow, both places. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut off here and put this one back in water and then plant this one because this is like, I wouldn't want to go any longer than this to plant it. And this is another Monstera Adansoniae uh, cutting. It just doesn't have any fenestrations on it. So it's a younger leaf. And that's probably an ideal length there as well. And this is what my water looks like. So you see, I haven't changed in about two weeks, just um, top dressed it and it's not murky or anything, but I'm just gonna empty it and put fresh water. Then I'll put the cuttings in that I'm not ready for yet. Sanitize my scissors just with alcohol swabs or a rubbing alcohol is fine. I've got clean water here. So I'm gonna put back, the so like my Hoyas and the ones that need more time, I'm gonna rinse them under the sink to clean the leaves so there's no dust on them so they can photosynthesize better and then put them back into this water. So I'll do that. All now. my propagations that I think need more time. So I've got them all in water and as you can see here, just the stems are in the water. There's no leaf in the water because if there's leaves in the water, they will just rot. And these are the ones that I'm gonna pot up here. So I'll just pot these up with you guys now. So I've got the narrow Monstera adansoniae and also the Jade Pothos, and both of them of these, I'm going to pot up to make my plant thicker. So I'll just um, do that for you guys and show you how I do that. So here's the plants that I'm going to be potting up. So I have two of the Jade Pothos. I clipped this one here, and then I've got just the root here, and I'll pot it up too, why not? And this one's got a really long root, so I'll have to update you guys if this is okay or not. I've never let it go this long, I just get busy. And then the Monstera Narrowform Adansoniae. These ones look great. So I'll pot these up too. So I'll show you guys how I do it. And I've got my little helper here. That's whose fur was in the water. <laughs> and I've got my little helper here. That's whose fur was in the water there. He's having a treat. You're my helper? Yeah, you're a sweet boy. It's baby bear. Okay. So this is the pot that I'm gonna pot my Monstera Adansoniae into. So I've got some of the wide leaf form and also some of the narrow leaf form. I just had clippings of each, so I'm just combining them all in one pot, and I'll probably divide it up, like as they get bigger and need more space, I'll divide up the, the thick form with the thin. So I like to use, I don't know about you guys, but I eat a lot of sushi, so I like to get extra chopsticks and use clean chopsticks as my, to propagate or to put my propagations in with because I just find it easier. You don't have to disturb the whole plant. So I'm turning it to this side because this looks more bare. And I'll link underneath my potting mix, fertilizer, watering can, and where I get my pots from if you're interested. Um, I'll do more plant videos and more updates. As long as you guys like this video and like plant um, content, I'll make more for you. So just let me know by liking it and subscribing. And I have a playlist of this too, so it's all in one place. So I'm gonna plant these propagations here because there's a lot of empty space. So I'm just gonna gently dig with my chopstick. And that's why I love the chopstick is because I don't have to dig with a spoon or shovel and disturb the whole plant. Um, it just kind of gets to where I wanna get to this way. And you can just use the, the chopstick to make a nice deep hole like that. And then I'm just gonna put my plant in they look like when they're in the pot as you can see the chopstick is super nice because you can uh, stick it down into the soil make a hole and then you can use the chopstick to arrange the soil after so that it, everything's nice and covered so i like how it looks because this side of the plant was really bare so now i've got um, two cuttings i wonder if the fenestrations will come on this later i'm not sure but I've got my two cuttings here. And then what I like to do after I've potted it up, I'll show you. So I like to saturate the whole thing in my sink. Um, I have one of those like shower head type connections to my sink. So I'm just gonna shower the entire plant so all the dust gets off the leaves. And that way it'll make the soil wet so that it'll settle around the roots. There won't be any air pockets. Get these terracotta pots because I love the look of terracotta. And also it has the saucer so that you can drench your whole pot and the saucer will catch um, anything 
that comes through. So I'll just wash this uh, and settle it in place and show you guys what it looks like then. So this is the finished product here. So I've washed everything under the sink. That's how I wash all my leaves off too. I really recommend that because then dust and stuff doesn't build up and you don't have pest problems. Knock on wood, <laughs> knock on wood. Um, but this is what it looks like after. And two other things I would recommend to you guys is using warm water when you wash down your plants, the tropical plants. So you don't want to use cold because it'll put them in shock and not too hot because it might damage the leaves. And also fill your, when you're first potting up your plant, fill your pot only about this much. Don't fill it to the very top because I've done that before when I didn't know better. And then every time you go to water, tons of soil falls out in the sink. Like it's just a waste. You might as well just leave that layer at the top so that when it bubbles up, when it gets wet and stuff, it's not getting everywhere. So that's how it looks. I'm really happy with it. And I can't believe this whole plant has come from cuttings and it's come a long way. It was like near death and now it's doing better. It seems to like to be in my bathroom because it's quite humid. So that's how this one looks and now I'll pot up the jade with you guys if you're interested and as always like this video letting me know to make more like this and I'll gladly make more for you. I'm always propagating so thank you. So the Love next you plant that I am going to pot into this plant is this jade pothos. Looks like it really needs water so that's perfect timing. You can tell when they need water by the drooping of the leaves and this is my first house plant actually. So I've had it for like a year or a year and a half and I just wanted to show you here don't be afraid to propagate your plants because look wherever I cut there's new growth here there's new growth here there's new growth here if you can see it so literally every place like I've already given a bunch of cuttings of this to my mom um, I've done trades with them and stuff like that and now I'm Pot, potting up more just to make it a thicker plant but don't be afraid to cut your house plants it actually promotes growth it's true what they say and it's something that's meant to be shared just by like this one here I've cut the same spot several times so there's no growth coming from it there anymore but I'm going to pot this in and then do the exact same thing water it rinse all the leaves down and then I'll show you the final product again with using my chopstick the same way. This part in this bald spot back here, because there's lots of room for more plants, more plant back here. And a benefit of repot or a benefit of making propagations and then potting back into your plant like this is that I've found anyways, the tighter your plant is in the pot, the more growth it's gonna produce. Like the more root bound it is, most plants like to be root bound. So if it has all this space, like I potted this in too big of a pot and that's why it's growing slow compared to what it's been doing. Um, because I just didn't have a, it was when the quarantine was happening and I didn't have a right size pot. So I had to pot up a size. Um, so I'm gonna pot it into here. And that way, as the plant gets thicker, it's going to get more root bound and it's going to start producing more growth from these leaves because it's the roots are already fill in here. I find it fills out the roots Finished first. product. My plant leaves are washed with warm water. Everything's showered down so it can photosynthesize better. It was super dry, so I drenched the entire pot and I also drenched the cuttings. This is the cutting and this is another cutting. And one was just a little stem with a root. So I put it all in there as well, just in the bald side where it needed more uh, foliage. So this is what it looks like. These roots were very long, so I have to keep you guys posted on if they made it or not. And that's pretty much it. And then I'll uh, probably a week later, when I have to water my plants again, depending on how hot it is here, I'll add some water with fertilizer just to give these leaves some nutrients. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you love this video and it helped you at all, please like and subscribe and let me know that you want more of this content. I'm doing this. I'm literally working on my plants almost every day or every other day because it's a hobby I really enjoy. So if you want me to film more of it, just let me know and I gladly will. Thank you so much. Take care. Love you guys and see you in my next video. Bye, guys.